That's yeah. just what my size. Yeah. What do you want? Do you have any other better ideas? Quickly. Hey, Bob, pull no, that label saying. off, but we're not sponsored by everyone, bro. We're not sponsored we're not by Virgil. Maggie either. Who said that? Cortez. Pinch, shout me. Yeah, well, I'm going to put a black border over that film. And then just yeah. put advertise here. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> just advertise. advertisements here. Innit? If anyone needs advertisement space, I we're here. I'm being sexualized. Oh my God. Bye. <laughs> Bro, cool. I've got wifey. Bro, we're like two minutes in, Sandy, bro. Trust me. <laughs> anyway, guys, you know what time it is. My Size Podcast here, bringing you fresh streetwear and sneaker-related news. You have me, Luke, uh, Luke Murphs on Instagram, and... Sandy, also known as skg.jpg. No, I'm saying your boy, Tosper. I'm out here again, just chatting S. Boom, yeah. bang. Yeah. What's S? I can't, can't say that word. I'm not trying to get demonetized. S hey. for sneakers. Thunder. You know what time it is. You know what time Sneakers app, your name weren't chosen. You know what time it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, this week we're going to be getting into a good few topics, to be honest with you, um, in regards to streetwear and sneaker knowledge. So yeah, we're going to just start kicking it off nice and easy. We all saw that wave that released this week, that big puffy blue something. Foamy wave. Foamy wave. Gap Yeezy. Oh, you know what? Before we get into this, fam, I saw what you did there. Man said, before, before we start kicking it off, Come on, my family. Come on. Come on. Come on. Me. Lace it, grate it. Come on. <laughs> hey. yeah. um, but yeah, Gap Yeezy. Mad ting, sad ting. Everyone said it was going to be affordable prices. Everyone told us it was going to be for the people. And then we see a pre order link for £200 for a pillowcase or. Inflatable paddling pool. Yeah, inflatable a lighter, paddling that's pool. That's what it is. I do see bro, that. All I'm saying is that's for the streets now, bro. That's for <laughs> literally for the streets, bro. I, I can't I can't see how I'm seeing releases. I'm seeing, yeah, $40 for the jacket. $40, $30. $20, $25, four runners. And that's dollars as well, bro. Dollars. Not pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Dollars. Oh, mine's going to go over £50 pound note and I'm going to clean. Clean. I'm going to be looking like Kanye West in, you get me, walking through the fields of wheat. Bro, fam, the, what, you're, you're homing or whatever the hell they call it. Literally. Wyoming. 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 Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah, long story short, first of all, obviously it is the first piece released that we kind of we've seen the collection, we've seen bits and bobs, we know there's phone runners, we know there's t-shirts, but this jacket is the first thing we can pre-order. First of all, will any of you be grabbing? Well, two hundred dollars, but I miss me with that film. It's good for winter. You could oh. be the thing is you've got to remember this is Kanye probably once again thinking like four or five years ahead. That's bro, the issue. But bro, but bro. Well, I don't want to get the gap. <laughs> Literally. If that's where we're going in four to five years, that's not it. I'm good in twenty. I can't lie. I feel oh. like it looks like a Star Wars wedding that's jacket. <laughs> it's not my ETA. That's not your ETA. No, bro, it's a Gap though. Two bills on a Gap jacket that doesn't make sense. Bro. I'm gonna be honest though. I feel like yeah, it does get hot here, right? this is where it goes crazy though, right? Because with somewhere like Gap, Gap is obviously like just a lifestyle brand, a uh, retailer, normal kind of like supermarket, uh, high high street. high street retailer. And I feel like this is kind of the same thing he's done with Adidas and Kanye manages to come in and kind of make a sub brand, like a sub genre of that brand. And that's the thing really, if truly, if you look at like what Adidas's kind of catalog of shoes are right now and their heritage of their brand, mm -hmm. the Yeezy brand is completely opposite to everything it stands for. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's just a completely different silhouette. It's so sporty. It's just very, very peculiar, but it works. It really works for that. And I feel like, Gap has no one's buying Gap. Like, when was the last time Mandem bought Gap? Have you bought? When was the last time you bought Gap? That's a long time ago. What about you? Well, well Gap isn't a thing you buy. Gap Bro, is a thing like, you get bought for you. Yeah, it's grandma like and that. Yeah, grandma, grandma, grandma yeah. got you some yeah. socks. And this Christmas. time it's a night. Nice. You see me? I think I think the last thing I bought from Gap was like in year six. They had this hard like camo kind of like cover the ears. What the top? Oh, it had like sick. gap on the forehead no it G didn't have G no it didn't have no branding it was just like a little woolly it was when I was doing up Northwest's finest oh what the little thing that it was the South Park cap yeah Kyle yeah South like Park. the Kenny's yeah, not Kenny Kyle, Kyle South Park Kyle, cap fam yeah, that's yeah, it that's but yeah bro so, so bro that was the last thing I bought from Gap but this is what I mean like for Gap it's a win I just don't think it will generate more sales for them as a brand I think it will just give people more interest in what Yeezy and what Kanye will release for them. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like when you think about it compared to Travis Scott, which is the nowadays version of Kanye, mm -hmm. it's like he smashes out merch every other week. At first it was like, yeah, Kanye merch. I'm sorry. Yeah. Travis Scott merch. Yeah. Astro World. Astro World. Mm -hmm. Then it was like, oh yeah, this. Then it was like, oh yeah, PlayStation. Then it was like, oh yeah, McDonald's. Then I was just like, oh yeah, it's on the website. Here we go again. Realistically, do you really think it's going to make sense or is it just going to make sense from the standpoint of a let's say a reseller where he thinks you know what this is a hot commodity this is a new jordan one or a dunk or yeezy that when it comes out every release i've got something to flip 
is that what this brand is going to be or is it going to be something really i think that's making sense i can't I see i think it's going to be dominated by the resellers like they will make a market out of it i think if so there's well. one to be made and also i think that gap have been quite smart in that that's the first thing that's available to pre-order because obviously we're all talking about it they know that it's not something that is necessarily fitting with today's market it's classic kanye as well isn't it it's like yeah. it's still gap colors but it's a lighter blue so that's what I'm saying. They'll say it's still a blue jacket. There's still, mm. and that's what I mean. But like, to me, it reads very high fashion. It reads very, uh, like very high fashion for a gap price, like a gap high fashion range. Mm. You know what I mean? And like, I know it sounds crazy, but like you're saying 200 pound for a jacket, but people are spending 180 pound on Nike tech fleece. Yeah, but I ain't trying to wear gap, bro. I'm not going to lie for them. Like gap. But it's bro, not gap, bro. It's not gap. It's YZY. That's what I'm trying to tell oh, you. No, no, let's bring it back as well. Let's talk about the whole Instagram thing, bro. But let, let, Do you know how mad that is? <laughs> bro, that they deleted everything off their Insta really? for just... Like? No, like, because the brand's in the bin. Bro, but that's like, what I'm saying. It's Kanye bro. taking over a brand. This is coming Adidas from Rico, right now. who deletes his old Instagram. But oh, we won't talk about that. Do you know what I'm saying? You always got to bring a person. Wow, bro. It's not really <laughs> drawing him <laughs> out. But we're talking about... What are you saying? Archive, archive and unarchive. Archive and unarchive. I feel you. Wow. But on the rules, yeah. Do you know what that's like? You know, you know, shoe. Mm-hmm. S C H U H. That's like shoe getting a collaboration with Off White, and they just delete the whole channel, fam. But they Everything. would. But you would. But that's mad for that opportunity. Yeah, but that's the whole rebrand. point. It's like Gap. Yeah, it really is a rebrand. Like Gap now know that that G A P. If they put Y Z Y, it's gonna sell so much more. And that's the same thing that Adidas has done, bro. Like you only have the geezers out here buying things like Hamburgs and mm. Copenhagen and this and that. But really and truly, what is running? Gaps like money up 500, 380, 700 mm. foam runner slide. Do you know mm. what I mean? And that's what I mean. And that's what Gap are looking at. Gap are thinking, okay, our actual clothing is selling still to like stay at home mums and so on and so forth. But if we get Kanye and give him full creative direction for his own sub genre within Gap, we'll make killings. I hear that. By the same time, I just don't feel like it's sustainable. Promotes them above H&M. <sighs> now, I'm if not people. Sure, bro. So are you tell. Because nowadays everything yeah, is so unsustainable. But like. think about a year and a half down the line. Let me back, let me back this shot. Gone. Go on. Boy, a lot of brands are get the, get the doing that, that, like, trying to football, get into different points of the market, <laughs> price points. And obviously, oh, in order shit. to have longevity in the industry that they're in, they have to. Accommodate to everybody, to be honest. Exactly. It is a smart, it's a very smart business. It's, it's a two year, it's a two to three year plan. Like, think about it like this. Like, okay, two Yeezy lines release, right? If you want, and it all sells out, what are you going to want to buy? A Gap t-shirt or a t-shirt from Uniqlo? Because it's always on trend because Yeezy is Gap. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I don't, I'm Good not point. sure, bro. Good point. It's like, it's, it's so easy for us to just say, yeah, it's just going to work, but it just might not work because think about the Yeezy Coven line. Yeah, I get the price, the price premium, the price range. Was the high. price was mad. It was mad. It was a mad thing. But at the same time, bro, I can't see this being cheap. Like I could see it it's being cheaper. cheap. It's cheaper. Yeah, bro. Tell me where you could get a jacket like that for two bills. What, the easy one? Cold that, laundry. That gap, yeah, cold that laundry. gap thing. Cold laundry. Cold laundry. Yeah. I've seen cold laundry, bro. On their site, there is no jacket that looks like that. Bro, it's, it's, they do a similar puffer to that. A similar puffer, but is it that? Is yeah, it that bro. material, okay, that no, colour? Lives, yeah. Be honest last though. Question. Do you actually rate the jacket? Huh? Do you rate the jacket? I wouldn't rock it because it's not my aesthetic, but I can definitely see people on Regent Streets, these little fashion heads, these little, you know, the people that are like, yes, darling, I love this look. Like, oh man sees them rocking this, you know, skinny, really skinny, tall boys, yeah. you know, very clean kind of dress sense, summery, wummery, you know, that jacket and some shorts with a pair of sliders. I see it. I'm going to be honest, but I jacket, see it. The jacket's dead though, bro. Yeah, it's, it's not, not making uh, sense. I, get I feel it. it's like you're too me. emotionally attached it's, to the it's jacket. Not, it's not for me, innit? But, the reason why I'm emotionally attached is because this thing's been hyped up for so long, fam. Mm. But man's been sitting and looking at YZY. That's all man's seen is YZY. I ain't seen no shorts, no shoes. But you're going to see no that socks. come, but... You know what I'm saying? And the first thing they release is this, is this meaty jacket, bro. But, but it's a fashion dead. jacket. But it's a fashion think jacket. But you were there. a fashionable jacket is dead, fam. And how's man no, I didn't say fashionable. There's a difference. So, Not a fashionable, fashion. Okay, if he's releasing a fashion. A <laughs> puffer, bomber jacket, yeah, yeah? In the middle of summer. It's not making sense, bro. Yeah. I, the oh. first thing that I thought when I looked at it was I'm hot. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm literally, hot. am I wearing a jacket now? You see in my face. Bro. Yeah, but man will wear that topless. Just rock it. What you get me? With, with, the, with the speedo shorts. Come on there. <laughs> and the little Crocs and that. And a Croc collab. Balenciaga Croc collab. Oh, and you've won. Oh, have you not seen the um, Balenciaga Louis Vuitton? Yeah, that is a collab that's happening. Is it not? Is it Balenciaga? Yeah, it is a Balenciaga Louis Vuitton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it Gucci? No, it's Balenciaga Gucci. 
and that Gucci. someone's doing a collab, yeah. but it's, it's an L. Nah. It's, it's, it's literally like that's not my price point right now, man. Like, I'm still like on the gap, um, Yeezy waves. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even you know, there. Bro, you know them um, elephant and castle market. Mm-hmm. But it looks like yeah, that's like lit. It's literally like the one bring it back to the culture. It's BB instead of GG. It's mad. That's quite cool. That's cool. It's not cool. But Gucci bro. did the whole thing with um the whole Gucci. But you man never went like. school in South, bro. Do you know how many fake Gucci belts man never seen in my life? No, but that's what that's like, what that's why you have to respect it. Yeah, but look at Don Dapper. He's a legend. And now you pay millions, hundreds of thousands for his or thousands for his suits, and it's fake Louis. What Dapper Don? Yeah, I said Don Dapper. Same thing. Is it really though? Nah, <laughs> but it will edit it to be the same thing. You get me? <laughs> I'm gonna rewind it. Yeah. <laughs> it Dap, Dapper, just cut that little bit out for me. You get me? Dap, Dap. <laughs> if I don't see your archive photos bits and that bits in there, I'm onto you. Just <laughs> Every single week, I'm on your neck. But yeah, Dapper uh, Don, like, do you get me? Like, I, I get where you're coming from, but listen, it's been COVID. It's been a year out the game. No one's been buying anything and companies need stuff to entice people to spend mm. their bread. Facts. That's why it's all going to come at one point. Facts. Do you know what I mean? So facts, I think, and we can, if, we, if we're talking about collabs, I suppose we could like get into it, but you know, and so, so you guys basically are also saying easy gap in the bin. Yeah. No, I'm you a fan what? of the collab. Mm-hmm. I think that it can be really it's exciting. Gonna bang. We all know I'm, it's gonna I bang. personally wouldn't buy what I've seen so far. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's definitely potential. I'm and a, give me that pri- give me that original price list when I was seeing twenty dollar, I'm a, five dollar. It was looking like a five pound munch. Give me that five pound munch price list and I'm there. I can't lie, I'd obviously there, I don't know when you thought Kanye was gonna sell his sell his creative ideas for like twenty pounds. It was never gonna be yeah, that brand. Yeah, was, it was, was always gonna be through. gaps. It was always gonna be gaps more like elevated brand i think going into it but i suppose all we can do is just wait to see what the what what the collection is going to bring obviously we're starting off with a jacket rico said he don't like it i'm sure we'll see him in it in six months boom bang probably let's move on (laughs) um talking about collaborations and so on and so forth so forth i suppose we should stay on the kind of topic of such a very very big brand which is adidas and um the fool I suppose they are having a little bit of a, a troubling time at the moment. I think if you asked, if you did like a consensus or a questionnaire or went around video and people and said Nike, Adidas or a brand that is different, I reckon you'd get out of 100, maybe 10 people that would say Adidas. Mm. What is going on right now? Like, can Adidas come back to level up the playing field? It's Bro. very interesting. I feel like Nike's so many, sh- so far ahead at the moment. Bro, these men are lost, fam. I can't lie, bro. I deep sit on today. Have you realised how, you know the forum shoe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, forum that, low. That, that forum that they were given F and F to everyone. Mm-hmm. But yeah, release 100 pairs, 200 pairs. Yeah, mm-hmm. give it to whoever mm-hmm. to get this little hype. Have you realised how they're trying to turn it like an Air Force One where they're just doing multiple different collaborations? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bad Bunny forum. Oh, literally. Have you seen Have you seen that platform shoe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That platform shoe? Listen. I know, nah, I just taking a piss, bro. I'm going to be honest taking with you. A piss. I think That's Adidas mad. need to, they need to make a decision because I feel like what they're doing is they put a lot of money into kind of like their vintage stuff like you know their hamburgs their gazelles but it's the same silhouette like we've the seen Liverpool man shoes bro like Did the you? mention uh, all the these Liam like lad, all these lad <laughs> shoes but the thing is they're actually adidas's heritage silhouette and like mm. something that interests me is like for example nike with virgil you know three or four years ago now did the 10 right i think it was 2017 he did the 10 the 10 the Presto was a basic Nike shoe, mm-hmm. but now the Presto That's is awesome. an elevated shoe. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because of what he's done with it. Surely there is a designer or someone out there like a Kim Jones or well, he's done stuff well, with Sean Nike. I, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it was a basic shoe, the Presto. I think Sean... Do you like what I, Sean did? At I think Sean's Superstar is okay. Am I, am, I, am I loving the ZX 850 model or ZX 450? No, I'm not. Like I see it, the Super Earth. I was Earth, a really big fan of the Super Earth. The Super Earth, the sh- yeah, the Superstar is amazing. Like, And I think the other colorway, the black colorway is spot on oh mm-hmm. i need that joint i thought they was gonna release it they bro. will eventually it fits in that, it fits in well with kind of what adidas mean especially with their um upcyclable material yeah, all of yeah their sustainability is really good at the moment parley as well their stuff with the oceans but it, like because obviously they do ocean work with parley on every mm-hmm. shoe that sells there's a percentage that goes to cleaning our ocean so adidas are thinking very kind of like sustainable and economical right now but I don't feel like I've seen even near enough marketing for anything bro, near that. Like, look, just look at look at what we're wearing on a day to day, bro. We're all wearing Nike right now. Yeah, 100%. look at look at what every single person in the room is wearing Nike. Is wearing Nike right now in the whole room. Like, even my man who's doing the camera, bro, he's wearing <laughs> Nike sliders, bro. You know what I'm saying? From it has to be Nike, bro. Look at like influencers and stuff. 
But well, a lot of times you say influencer wear Yeezy, bro. But the thing and is, that's just Yeezy. Now think no, about the I heritage did... line shoes. Like, yeah, yeah. Like them, them. Um, oh, what are they called? Mentions, gazelles, no, Sambas, Stan just, Smith, not even superstar. Just those, like, you know them overdrays, bro. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, like EQTs. EQT um, stuff is yeah, cold, man. Like ZX. Like, ZX the stuff yeah. is kind of NMD. Nice. Hey, oh, we NMD. don't talk about that one, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, OG. That's, but with Adidas, I feel like they do have very diehard fans for those. Model. Well, it ain't enough. Bro. Yeah, but obviously, them like, man are the terrace boys, and they only have so much money coming in because they're spending money on season tickets and pints. Exactly, bro. Facts. No that's big. No, no, that's, no, that's not even. That's not even personal. judgmental. No, Come on, boys, up the blues. Let's go. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not dissing up the thing. I'm just saying. Said up the for blues. example, they're releasing, re-releasing that Arsenal <laughs> shoe. Now that Arsenal shoe is obviously heritage, but for me personally, if Adidas want to move move forward, they need to kind of start. In my opinion, start going very exclusive and going kind of like back to cities and working with like, say, for example, they should work with Stormzy and release a London, but something that Stormzy feels is really, really like relevant um, to him. Relevant Relevant to a London Adidas shoe. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they should speak to maybe like people like Big Sean and do a Detroit. You could have ASAP Rocky and create a Harlem and all these shoes incorporate different um, different elements from their city right. and make it very limited. And make it and release it in a way where it's like... Where it's, it's specific. In, it's in Harlem. Yeah. You have to know such and such it supports game. Harlem you maybe have to go to like the local pizza spot that's been there for like 40 years 100% 100% uh, with, yeah it's true bro. with they Stormzy sh- you have a G- you get me you have to go to your local church do a gang sign and a prayer to even have the <laughs> chance of getting a shoe I'm not dissing up Boy. his thing uh, that's not a worry, but I'm just saying, make it fun. Like, incorporate people. <laughs> nah, I hear what you're saying, facts. Because make it fun. That's what sneakers is, bro. Bro, it's run about d- having fun, bro. Adidas were running the game when Run DMC were at the top because mm. they made a tune called My Adidas. They're in a concert saying to people, everyone take your Adidas off and put them up in the air. But there is no endorsement like that right now. There is no musician or artist. They're bringing back Jeremy Scott. Adidas were doing a lot in the music scene, though. Like, in terms of they did sponsor Stormzy. Yeah, but it's and a lot of, of, what did, a lot where did creatives, it go? But I feel like that's what they were focusing. But on. you know, you know the worst thing about sponsoring Stormzy, it's like they sponsored Stormzy because Stormzy was on the wave of let's wear the Adidas, which is hard, mm. which is a hard, hard heritage. No, hard. I think but they focused was, a lot. No, on but their it was clothing. like they never done that. It just naturally happened. Then they just jumped on Stormzy, but they didn't go nowhere with it. That's what I mean. That's but if he released say. a London shoe like a store, like there are people that will take adidas's bag do you know what i mean but i feel like adidas they need to up their marketing they need to up their advertisement they need to actually but do you think people would believe in it a hundred percent yeah because everyone knows adidas's mission and adidas behind the brand there is a lot of good morals there and you can see that from what they're doing with the environment with their support for charities with so on and so there's a lot of good things that adidas has done for the community they've even got Pusha T. do you know what i mean Mm -hmm. they've had Pusha T create collabs his eqt did really well Um, but that's what i I mean yeah it's cold But you don't really hear a lot of people talk about it because there's no because there's no advertisement, there's no marketing, bro, there's no. That's how life is nowadays, bro. All that all that hey, that's good stuff that was back in the day is all gone to hell because man, the more that's interested in dunks and Yeezy. And Yeezy, that's bro. the problem. Dunks, Ye- the Adidas thing. let Yeezy, Ad- uh, Kanye take too much control exactly. when they were at. And this is the thing: people forget Adidas still have kind of the thing of Ultra Boost. I feel like they could innovate the Ultra Boost again. They a could thousand up, percent. They could up it another oh, level. I don't know, know how, man, man. bro. Like if you could change the color of the soles. Oh, you know what? Do they. They are innovating the NMD because I see Pharrell, he's wearing like a new That's the thing. of pair. It looks kind of cool, but at the same time, I look at him, it's like, I'd rather just buy night shoes, bro. You say that though, but that's because <laughs> right lie. now, that's because right now the tennis, the tennis, the ball isn't on the other side of the court. And that's the problem. Like I feel like Adidas, they just need to be careful because they are losing a lot of, within our generation, I think a lot of clout. But if you look at who Nike has as artists or people that they've endorsed, they've got Drake, they've taken Drake. Adidas were going to get Drake, but then obviously some. I think yeah. obviously the pusher. The there pusher was so thing. many different yeah, rumors. Yeah, yeah. So obviously they lost Drake. Then they got Kanye, but he. We've seen it. We've been there, oh, seen it. it. Oh, he needs you. a new innovative shoe. Kanye said, "Yo, man, Kanye said, yo, if I ain't on the board, I'm away yeah. Jordans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was mad. I'm away, I'm away Jordans in time on the board. This this dude." This dude really slapped. That up was a bit. crazy, bro. This dude really that was slapped. Crazy, up a bit. but then That's I would, violent, bro. I just yeah, bro. But then I would want to see Kanye come out with a fourteen hundred or something. We've seen it all from Eddie. Let's bring back my seven fifty. Do something good, bro. I feel like they need to not to rely on hmm? Kanye too much. Uh, do you know what it is though? I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know if Kanye is actually creating anything for Yeezy anymore because it just looks like to me they're using old silhouettes He's and just thinking of new colors. colors. Yeah, yeah. bro. They brought a five hundred out with an orange salt and a beige top. The in flame. I am sorry if you own that shoe. Like, obviously, if you're young, do your thing. Drip is drip, whatever. But grown men don't drip. drip. Grown men don't use the word drip. You understand? And that shoe there, the in flame, it should just burn your foot. 
because I am done. Yeah, just <laughs> Adi that, just burn your Adi that stop doing the colors. It's just a crazy well, like, one. I hear, I hear what you're saying, 100. percent And the worst thing about it is it's possible because if you look at the rise of New Balance nowadays, oh. it's mm. like, dangerous, oh, crazy. More time, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Big up the female I'm designers. Looking, if, I the, if I got the chance to get a dunk. Mm. Or what, what I like to call them ducks because all these new people are like, oh yeah, I love ducks, man. Ducks, they make, oh, I love ducks, so cute. I'm just like, bro, relax. If I have a chance to get a, a ducks mm. or get a nice little New Balance collaboration, I'm going for the New Balance, I can't lie. But why does it have to be collaboration? No, not even a collaboration. <laughs> you make me sick. Because <laughs> he's a hype beast. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh. I'm a hype beast, but I'm a night man, bro. Whoa. I'm a night man, born and bred, innit? So if I want to do another brand, it has to be a collaboration. But I say with my whole chest. You're bro. saying that now, but trust me, when you're an old man and your knees are giving way, New Balance will be there. Them 990s <laughs> and them 992s. Hey, big up New Balance. I've I'm, been... not gonna, I'm not going to lie, man's got Monarchs, though. Man's got the Monarchs, fam. Them night monarchs, mm. bro. You know them, them. Bro, it's not New Balance. New Balance. Nah, they, bro, they, that's the original old bro, truth, New man. Balance based their idea Don't of you. balance Don't on you. a chicken foot, bro. That's how New Balance is so comfy. But imagine you're actually working with three toes. It's crazy. Go I read don't up have about three it. toes. Huh? Yeah, but it makes it. Listen, Sandy. Don't you know, it doesn't make sense. Well, how am I meant to be comfortable when I've got five toes and nah. the base not on three toes? Yeah, though? exactly. But what are you talking you're about? You're trying bro? to sell it to me by telling me to base it hey, on chicken. That definitely works for New Balance, Bob. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, where's the wire, bro? Yeah. yeah. Shot, hey, <laughs> shot, bro. Nah, nah, don't do that. It's 2021. I'll sue you, B. But listen, like, it's one of those ones where it's um, it's one of those ones where, no, I agree with you. I just think. going to sue me now. I just barged it. I think, I think Adidas are just. I think they can make a comeback, but they really need to start spending their bag wisely. Jeremy Scott, it is not that it is just not there. Are you like, not happy for the Jeremy Scott though? I'm happy for it. Broski, I, I, I want to go back and buy some pairs over there. Are you 15? Bruv, you know what? How old are you? You know what? You're so, bit... so what do you want them to do? If huh? you don't like I just that, told you, you just you innovate, like just create something that but we then, haven't but seen. But to before. them, that is innovation. What bringing back a shoe that we've seen 10 years ago? But yeah, that ain't innovation. Bro. That's not no, innovation. I can bring back. I, I do feel like. Even the bad bunnies. Sorry, sorry to not let you land here, yeah, but even the bad bunnies. I'm oh, sorry, you land soon. Cool. Just fly around. Even the bad bodies, yeah, the bad bunnies. They're a nice shoe, but really, is it innovation? It's that same forum shoe they're rinsing, bro. Yeah, but it's the it's the message behind the shoe. Like, what's the, the message heritage. behind the shoe? I don't, I don't own the Tell shoe. Me. I don't own the shoe, but apparently, something to do with the heritage of the person. I can't lie, Stop Bad Bunny, cat, bro. Bad Bunny, yeah. Bad Bunny Stop Forum, Bad Bunny Forum is J Balvin Jordan. I one. like no, 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 Bad Boy. Wait, is that a bad what? thing? Yeah, dead, both dead. Well, that's oh. what I'm saying. It was I all like about. The, I like that pink pair. It's kind the, of nice. I can't lie. Of what? The heritage. The, the bad Bunny is like the tones. No, the, the, the material cool. is really nice. Like the shoe itself, the color is nice. Just yeah. the forums are nice. They're all right. I think I got I think my F and F shout out offspring. I was about to say I didn't get F and F from offspring, so I don't really, don't really know how the model looks. Not my thing. <laughs> no, it's banging. Like it's not a shoe that nah, I would have necessarily cap, picked stop up. The but this is what I'm trying to say. Look, you had to stop. Surrounded the by haters. Surrounded. Did you hear it? No, it's okay. The forum's nice. 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 No, it is. But it's not really a pair it's I would have necessarily picked up. No, but I'll be honest. So how you gassed it if you because now having worn it, you would buy one now. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Yeah, bad bunny. Would you, buy, would you buy them um platform jets? I'm five seven, no. You'd be like six foot. I'm good. Like six two. For example, I'm did four. you see that Noah collab? Noah? Noah collab? Who? Noah and Adidas. They're doing a collab. Huh? You see? You see? So what? that's what <laughs> I mean. Adidas. Up your marketing, up your advertisement. People don't know what you're releasing. Just sort out. So your how models. do you find out this information? Because oh, I just look sometimes for Adidas All stuff. Right. I don't so really you, so you I don't really mind, out. huh? So you seek it out? Sometimes, depends. Yeah, I don't really get Adidas news. Like I just want to see what is going on. Like, I just like to see what's going on with all brands, kind of what's up and coming. And Noah is another brand that I really like. Um, just obviously, undercover, shout out DSM. Um, but yeah, <laughs> in terms of Noah, yeah, like I just like that collab. But Adidas, just sort it out. Pay some money to the right endorsements. They need to get the right people as well. They need right. to release like a female-friendly shoe as well, like a proper sick female-friendly shoe. Adidas's silhouettes are hella in the terraces. And like yeah. the last female friendly shoe they released, it had a heel on it. Do you remember them, all them platform shoes from before with the heel on it, like the Nike? It's a myth. Oh, them football trainer yeah. Tiempo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Tiempo oh, heel was know, a mad you know, thing. I thought you was talking about. No, the one with the heel. And it's like it a, was brave. Like it was like a rainbow heel, bro. It was brave. We had not used to rock them. And now I look back and I'm just you know like, what I thought you were talking about? Do you, remember when, do you remember the old wave of dunks when they used to have the dunk? The cars? wedge. Well, the, west. the wedge. The wedge. The wedge. <laughs> See, bro, you don't, you need dunk man don't know about the wedge, fam. You don't know about the this wedge. This is why the dunk died, bro. You got the wedge, fam. <laughs> if that comes back, imagine that. Imagine, bro, imagine Travis Scott on a wedge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
The I'm best not gonna lie, fam. Oh, bruv. I'm not trying to go on too short, man. But were you short, man? That wedge making sense for you still. It had like a what, like a five inch wedge. I can't lie. Like that, 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 like, I you beg you, look. You lot are gonna give man to PTSD, not me, but all the short man watching. Like, do you know what I mean? Because air forces are not a be able to be copped right now, so they take anything with a hill. Oh, so they just can't leave, leave the house. Leave them alone. <laughs> all right. They can't leave, leave the them house. alone. There is real no hot boy summer. It's just hot boy midget. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Um. So anyway, Adidas. We don't know. If it's going to make a comeback, you guys, I mean, you guys. I would like to see more people from the community, from the culture be used as faces, like you said, being given silhouettes. Yeah. And being able to tell a story. But can we see something new as well? Like? Yeah, an innovation, innovation, innovation. There's a new shoe. No, let's it's see a, a new silhouette. Yeah, like a, like a completely new silhouette. The that 4D isn't... was hard, but you priced us out of it. You're giving us a Bape Superstar five years too late. Facts. Oh facts. my God, that is so facts. I was deep. I was saying this on this to someone over there. When they done the whole NMD run, yeah. And then the next one after they did the um the ultra boost, when the ultra boost happened, I said, why didn't they just do a superstar? But we wanted this mm. ten years ago. Like they had a superstar, a big superstar before. But we wanted this five years the ago. The colorway they did was dead. It was like the black and the white. Yeah, finished. Good dead. night. But no, no, wait. Happy. The black and the white babe superstar. Yeah. That one is hot. What no, the beige no, one? No, that's that dead. beige one. That's dead. That's dead. It's hard. No, that's dead. It's that's hard. just hype, bro. That's that beige hype. one is not hype. It's that's clean. Dead. It's no. clean. That's dead, bro. It's clean. Mature. Oh, it's your sophistication. Mature. So your sophistication when you're wearing babe. When this is mature. Looking like a short skin playing film. But there is no camo on it. But so you think you? It's like a black and white camo. Oh no! I'm talking about just the beige one. Moving on. The one that just oh. released. Oh no, yeah, the new ones are hard. I'm talking about the original. All right, ones. relax. Don't get ones. too excited. Let's move on. Anyway, you get me on to the next one. Let's keep it moving. Obviously, we just said Bape Superstar. Let's have a look at collaborations that Nike have upcoming this year. Travis Fragment One, high. Travis Fragment One, low. Off Travis Air Max. Above, I'm not Travis lie. Air Max something. Because I don't know what that was, because that oh. is a hot mess. It's oh. a one. Huh? It's a one. It looks like a cereal box upside down. I don't finished. believe any images. Have you He's seen worn a shoes? pair. Wow. He's jumping. Okay, but until it comes out, I, I'm yeah, not having an opinion. Let me tell you. I've seen the picture. Put, put, you see him on the, on the put, foot, put that one in the bin. He's yeah. The 50 dunks, apparently. 50 off white dunks added to the 50 GRs. Then you've got Sakai Fragment, Sakai Undercover, Sakai Clot. I've never seen a collab for a collab shoe in a year. Very interesting. A collab for a collab shoe within yeah. a year. Um, I've seen it. Yeah, what do you want me to say? Good night. It looks like a fill in pieces. Oh, do you know what this the night's nice much- like? You know them little lights you used to put on your bike wheels back yeah, in the day? Yeah, just so you didn't get hit. Yeah, it's finished. That's what it looks like, bro. The shoe is finished. That shoe is finished. It's not Air Max One. And I'm going to be sick as well when people say, Air Max One, that's been my favorite Rail. silhouette. Rail. I've been wearing an Air Max One since I was getting bullied in school. Oh, no, you, you don't have what? a master. I come on, it. kid, but I can never afford it. Yeah. But do you know what? Now that I've got money and I work my job, make my own piece, I can't wait to buy my grill. Yo, I love. How am I supposed to enter when you never let me buy an Air Max One? Oh, my bro. God. Go we'll buy some GRs. Go buy one off There's the shelf. some nice GRs right now on the shelf as well. We've got that um, with the baby swoosh, green and blue, just little. You get me? Yeah. Anyway, you want a New Balance shop? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Sick. After you come and shop in Offspring, you'll have a New Balance, a New Balance of understanding <laughs> oh, for where you should up. shop in the future. Oh! But long story short, That's a fatality. that was just uh, <laughs> that was just a few collabs that I'm running off the top of my head. I think there's like three D or Nikes as well. Why are we seeing? Limited shoe after limited shoe after limited shoe after limited shoe. Do you believe after COVID um, and the year that we've had Nike are just releasing to recoup some finances, to recoup some peace? Or do you think we're seeing all these shoes um, in regards to because they actually just believe everybody deserves the opportunity to have a pair of grails? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm say yes or no. I'm going to say yes, maybe a little bit of the recouping, but no, because it's not there. Where they're recouping that money is these dunks, bro. These these normal colorway dunks, bro. These men have two circles. You know them rule of fortune things, fam. When he spins it like, they got two of those bare colors. Oh, they take a color. Yeah, yeah you're two mocking colors, it. Spinning it and then just mocking. slapping it on the shoe and releasing it. Man said London Zoo dunk. That's what you could basically have: a giraffe, a panda, a snake, bro, a, a bat. Be, I think I think we could actually get a bag, put random words in it, take it out, and it probably released. Yeah. This but they, don't act like they didn't do that with Jordan last year. Do you? Yeah, but this is worse. Been than bro, no, than no, than no than I've not Why? seen. I've not seen a dunk. I've not seen a dunk worse than Jordan One High Biotech. Biotech, whatever that thing was. Cap, are you mad? There's like there's like three or that. four worse than that. Than that biotech. No. Bro, them dunks, horrible. them golf dunks, them golf dunks. Huh? Them golf dunks. Bro, have you seen the colours on like, the biotech? They were like, they were like uh, uh aqua blue and orange. No, they were like the Ford. Right. 
I can't lie, they're finished, but bro, if you're from Miami or something, you can rock that, bro. Have you seen the bio- <laughs> biotech, bro? Man said brown, silver, Love, baby bro. blue. You're like, just annoyed because it's a dunk. No, let's think. Let's if think, it was no, any other silhouette, you wouldn't get it. There's been worse. There's been worse than that. But, but the dunk is a silhouette that is obviously GR right now. We've seen Nike do that before. Like, that's fine. Like, whatever it is, what it is. You know the hype will die. But I'm saying, like, what is a limited edition shoe nowadays? Is it a women's exclusive? Is it uh, 50 to that city only? Is it... What, what do you... Well, first of all, you can't base it on what people are raffling because I don't know why people are just raffling every shoe right now. Because that's what I mean. Every week, there seems to be something new. Like, there's even raffles for the Skepta Tailwind. Even though the blue one you could buy straight off the shelf, the red one, Foot Patrol and stuff are doing raffles for. So is that limited enough to actually be given that status? And that's what I mean. Do you compare that to a fragment Jordan 1? No. Travis, low and high. The game game been messed up, fam. You can't ever look at raffles and think, oh, this is exclusive. Because I remember a couple of years, N Clothing was raffling, what, 720s and that, bruv. Air Maxes. Mm. That, bruv. But do you think Nike's doing it for the fact of that they want everyone to own a limited Uh, pair of shoes? Because if you miss your grey one next week, there's two weeks where you could get another one. Yes. Yes and no. Because... Is it good for the culture? The no culture, culture. the they culture wants no, the hype though. As much as the cul- no culture in the UK, as much anyway, as the culture, bro. no, that's Can a you lie. Let Sandy finish. Well, how G? is that not a lie? G, let Sandy he just talk. Wants to fight. G, well, Do you want to go at the boxing? Stop gloves? talking violence. Yeah, sports direct. We're wrong. Come to you. I'm gonna let you learn from once. I'm sorry. Yeah, as much as the culture likes to deny that we like the hype and that it's all long and we hate jumping through hoops and right it, we also enjoy it because I don't personally think that a lot of people would have got certain shoes. If there wasn't hype around them, if there wasn't a chase around them, if they couldn't sit at home and be like, yeah, I got this shoe, but like next month I didn't get it. So in a way, we like the hype. We like that constant chase. And Nike's a business, like they're out here to, the way it's promoted to us, obviously it's a constant wake up at 8 a.m. and the sneakers. You might get a sneakers pass, which Probably I don't. You won't. <laughs> I don't know why I've had like seven sneakers passes this week and I ain't landed on any of them, but whatever. Um, what is a sneakers pass? Just to let our viewers know. So a sneakers I've pass never had one, is so. if you're within the proximity of was it five so miles? It's all K is kilometers or something. kilometers, and it's within a certain K. number of kilometers from Nike Town, um, you will get a sneakers pass that will allow you to reserve a shoe at Nike Town to then go and collect it. However, unless you're super fast and can click that button in 0.1 second, you're probably not going to get it. Fair enough. What's the best shoe you've ever got off a sneaker pass? I ain't ever got oh, a sneakers no, pass. I've that sneakers pass. I've never, the I've best shoe I got off sneakers was a Travis Scott low. That's really good. But that was a surprise drop, wasn't it? Yep. So oh, yeah. So that's kind of an outlier because even my um, assistant manager, he was on the early and he actually told two of my colleagues, oh, the low just dropped, enter it. And because everyone was still asleep because no one expected it to mm. drop, he yeah. actually entered. None of my colleagues did and he won. Yeah, and he was done. Me, I won as well. And he, yeah, yeah. My team. Nah, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it just looks like a dunk to me anyway. Um, but yeah, back to the point, I think what? that, yeah, we, I think that we like the hype as much as we like to deny it 100%. And we I enjoy think, it, but that is what I'm saying. And with Nike though, releasing a shoe every week because it does feel like it is every week at the moment, constantly. Do you feel like there's creating a rod for their own back and eventually they're gonna out hype themselves or? You know what? Because we've seen also, if, you know, people do keep an eye the the market in terms of for shoes, in terms of for resellers, and so on and so forth, and people whoever are in that business, it's dropped significantly. So, do you think that's another thing Nike are trying to combat? Do you think releasing such numbers of pairs and such numbers of different kind of uh, collaborations and so on and so forth will start to drive out the resale market? And is that good for the trainer trainer industry? No, I don't think that the aim is ever to to make resale go away because we also have to remember that resale was a fundamental part of sneaker culture back in the day. Like a lot of OG sneaker collectors, they started off reselling because that was the only way that they could afford trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Or they would trade up and they'd get it. It's like now we have a very, now when we think of resale, we think of 13, 14 year old kids outside at camps or on Depop messaging us or all this stupidness, but that's not necessarily what resale was. And I don't think that Nike, Nike are good in terms of they listen to the community. They're aware of their audience. They're aware of kind of what people want as much as they might not always be giving it to us. They they have, they've listened to the voices. And I think that they also know that 
that is it's a fundamental part of the culture yes yeah, it's annoying no, it's annoying when you take l's and then you've got 50 people messaging you like oh, i've got that size like do you want to buy it five yeah, bills yeah. but at the same time like if you're if you're in it you're in it you're in it yeah no I understand. you have to take it you have to take the l's you got to take the w's like yeah you know what it is i feel like what you said there's a big comparison that draws along as you say when you think of resale, you're thinking of little 14 year old kids whatever or just new people that are just jumping into it just for the shoe when i think of the sneaker culture and actual sneakers that's what i see so when i think of sneakers i'm thinking oh not even not maybe the age but i'm thinking of our oh, new people mm. bought a couple mids take a couple pictures on instagram they've got sneaker uh enthusiasts in their bio they've got their size everything they've got hashtag offspring community in their bio hashtag that's, offspring made me do it them type bro, of things oh, like. That's what it is for me, and that's why I said that earlier. I don't think there is no culture in the UK. It's oh, just, I feel like it's very minimal to the point where when these releases come out, Nike only do it because they know that they can constantly just release it. There's no difference. They don't do anything to the culture. But, they don't push it forward. But, they don't bring it back. Prop, props to offspring though, because I do feel like we are like no, no, no they're lit. Bro. They are. They're the only. Yeah, they're thing, the bro. only brand or the only store that actually takes time enough to engage and interact with numerous people to Thanks. try and select and make sure that they get an opportunity to win and it is Big very facts. fair working there i see numerous different faces first time winners second time winners people i've never seen before people traveling from bram newcastle mm. all around england so i feel like and that's the thing there's not that many people in the game and in the space within london that are willing to take that much hard work like for example not to draw how many shoes have you not won from sneakers and stuff because i've never won what's what's that uh, yeah exactly so <laughs> that's a zero i've won i've won two shoes from, i've won three shoes from end i won a travis scott jordan one from end uh, from foot patrol can't lie foot patrol bust me on that i won a ronnie feig ultra boost mid like mid nice. time ago and i've won a pair of yeezys from foot patrol but that's within like six years so three wins in six years and then you've got what end i've only ever held l's your your name wasn't selected your name wasn't selected Thank and you. sneakers so come, back, come come again <laughs> i think in terms of when we're talking about the culture and the way that the culture should i feel like brands now really do need to think about how they're going to interact and select people for this or for these sort of products and for them to engage and show that they're interested in the love and the culture as much as kind of the customer no but i would definitely say that nike do do that from what i've oh, seen oh no nike do yeah no, i'm not but that that that's in terms of nike are the big overall we mm. source from nike but i mean the people that nike are giving to to push through a message or drive through mm. a specific kind of you know for this city or country i feel like there's not certain brands or certain shops aren't putting in as much work as potentially others i feel like mm. nike should just or nike should just force force them to do it right what do you think force what other brands to do it yeah, to keep up to do it like to do it similar to offspring because it's like Thinking about what Luke says, bro, there's like, what, how many stores, how many skate stores? When's the last time you got a retail SP Dunk, bro? I don't no, even I've know. got Street Hawkers this year. From who? Flat Spot. To be honest, I've got Travis Scott um, Dunks from Flat Spot. Exactly. So there you go. Yeah, but that's like, <laughs> one, of, that's like one of, one of, one of I've many, got a couple but. bits from Kong as well, shout out. From who? Kong. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't skate. I'm going to be real with you as well. When it comes to SP Dunks, I'm not massively like, massively over the moon by them i've just as i said on the new balance rate at the moment so if you get me we'll stick to that but yeah so you guys think i don't know do you got so overall what do we think it's a good thing for the industry or a bad thing all these limited releases travis scott low travis scott high well, travis we, scott we chicago we Tra even touched on the uh the whole threesome aspect of the collaboration yeah threesome that's true you yeah. get me <laughs> that's a freeway kiss between sakai nike and fragment oh, and undercover no, i think it's sick Travis no it's Scott not it's the I laziest think thing I ever i think it's sick no you're talking about innovation and something happens and you're like no, that's, no that's not innovative no no it's, Why it's, not? it's, it's no it's, 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 it's innov innovative for their bank accounts bro yes yeah. it is but it's not innovation <laughs> they listen the bread already they didn't even change the color on the it's 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 a kiss of death sakai literally <laughs> they took the color yeah they they the you just released the air max one that year You've just released me an Air Max One two weeks. Where's that brown, that dark brown okra? I want that. I want oh, that Air Max One. That, that, that clock. Give me something new. Don't give me a Sakai because the Sakai is not Nike. So I don't get it. Why you're, why you're bringing on all these other brands? Just why? But do you not think it's you've cool already run out of ideas? the collaborators have gone to do their own thing? So what are you saying? We're going to see Nike and Adidas next year. Is that what you lot want? A forum. That's a bit of a sticky a one a forum, still. A forum, a forum 97. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, no. 97 is irrelevant. It would have to be like a forum Air Max Deluxe. Nah, forum internationalist. Oi. Nah, nah, you're going too far. Different. Oi, with the Vapor Max soul. You've got. <laughs> go. Oh my god. There you go. Max. Gazelle Gazelle Vapor Max. Oi, it's banging. Listen, we've said it here first. If we see any of these ideas next year, we're charging. Um, Manda said Gazelle Vapor Max. Come on. That is nuts. But yeah, basically, that's yeah. where we're going. Um, I, I'm a fan of the jobs. I'm trying to win that raffle badly, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a fan of the of the limited releases that Nike are doing. I do think that it's up to us as a consumer whether we get sucked into it. Because obviously mm. don't be confused and thinking that these draws, all they mean is that there's limited numbers and stock amounts because there's not. But then that's the decision that you have to make. 100%. And I think the main thing that you're saying with that, Sandy, is, and I agree, and I think what we've all found out is that, listen, tomorrow is always promised. There's always going to be another shoe. So don't use your head. Um, just stay respectful and don't get down about it. Just don't let this game depress you. Don't let it think that you're missing out too much on, on something. Because as I said, there's always next week. There's always another shoe. And um, Nike always have something in the line to take more money off your parents. So, or yourself. <laughs> but guys, I think we've right. run out of time. Yeah. We have run out of time. I believe so. Magnum's finished. Um, you're sweating. Bro, I'm sweating like a fan. I'm man. sweating. But I've enjoyed it, guys. It's been fun uh, to be with you two. Lovely yeah. faces. Great knowledge. Guys, we'll try and give you some more in-depth stuff um, next week. But obviously, this is the first episode, so we hope you have enjoyed it. My Size Podcast. We hope this size fits you. Come Done on. Na, na, na. Let us know what you think in the comments. Oh, yeah. Comment, comment subscribe, like, follow us on Instagram, collab.network to see all of our shows. We've got loads of content coming up for and you guys. And guys, don't forget to use the hashtag Yo My Size so we can answer your questions next week on the podcast. Trust me, Yo My Size. We'll break next for you. Let's go. Um, yeah, if you want any kind of topics or anything you guys feel passionate about, please let us know we're on any video. We're more than happy to interact and share. Um, I've been Luke. I've been Sandy. I've been Rico. Fizzy stuff, gang stuff. We'll see you next week. Go!